It is an extra glorious day in the garden today, and it's also Earth Day. So I thought we would take a little stroll around, and um, I also have some projects I need to work on. So let's see what's blooming and what's beautiful, and uh, let's also get a couple things finished or started. Welcome to Grace Garden, where I love to be, but I also love to travel and explore the big beautiful garden that we all share. I'm your host Carol Kanicki and I'm so glad you've come along. So thankful to enjoy the beauty in nature and to get to work with the things that I love. And to get to share all that with you. Join me for some awesome adventures in nature and at some other exciting destinations. I hope to inspire you and to document my memories. Thank you for coming along with me out into our Grace Garden. Good morning to you, Mr. Cardinal. Oh, you want me to come outside? I want to go up on the sidewalk and get a closer look at my crab apple tree. Daffodils are pretty much finished, but I have a little bulb garden where I have two kinds of daffodils that I haven't shown you yet. These here are called Salome and have a pink tinge to them. And these over here are split coronas called Rip Van Winkle. One of the projects I want to do is to plant some stuff that needs to go in right here. And we're going to start with this lily, but I have more lilies to go with it. On my unheated front porch, I start things early and there are some lily bulbs that I bought stuck in here to cheat them, to get them to sprout a little early in this window box on my front porch. I'm going to pull these out and plant them. Now I think there's supposed to be five of them in here. so. 
but there they are. Nice green. Ready, ready to go in the ground. And there's some outside that are already sprouting that have been there all winter, so I'm gonna say it's safe to put these out. That one, I don't know, he doesn't look, no, oh, his head, he looks all right. And this guy, very nice. All right. I wanna plant some lilies. See, there are some lilies already here that I planted last year. And there's a couple over there, plus that one in the pot. for me to get the gladiolas out because I see things sprouting out through their winter mulch and these look at those those are liatris so I'm really excited and this is feverfew or matricaria but under here Are where my gladiolas are. They're not coming up yet. I don't see them. Ouch. Some weeds. Well, then we'll have to wait a little bit to do the next thing that I wanted to do. The next thing I want to do is under this pot. I got some more gladiola bulbs. Forty-five of them. Forty-five gladiola bulbs. But I want to wait until these start poking out to plant them. Because... I don't want to stab the bulbs that are already there. While we're here at the front of the house, here are those natural species tulips. They close in the, at night and in the rainy days, the cloudy days. So here, today's a perfect day to show you them. Mark about this lovely dogwood. It's very beautiful. Now, let's check out the crab apple. Just a couple of weeks ago, it looked like this. Remember? And now it's glorious. Freya, you are 
where's my lilies now? You're worse than a groundhog. Ooh, but there's a grub. We don't want him. All right. Freya, get out of there. Get out of there, Freya. Look at, now you're all. Get out of, get out of the garden. Mmm. Thank you. 